Hi there. Oh, more Dead Space 2. Hopefully we're going to finish this up today. If not, tomorrow. I believe that the next game I'm going to be playing is Dino Crisis on PS1. Another game that's not going to take me too long to finish, and then I will probably play Fallout 3, which will take me a million years. But should be awesome. That's a big marker. Oh my god. I built that. What? What are they doing? They're all coming to the marker. Convergence is at hand. I do you have trouble from the start, but they told me you were necessary. That your mind was the purest. Years sifting through your demented brain. This is not the way it was supposed to happen. Well, how was it supposed to happen, Tyman? We had it under control! Clark, this is not our fault! We are so close to understanding it. Just hold those bodies you let in here. It's triggering a convergent event. But we never expected this many bodies! What's up, Maloney? What it was made to do. Isaac, you have to make us whole. What you need is a robot. You need a, a robot that will type for you. A Johnny Five or a Chappie. For a slave, you could you could have a slave. That would work too, right? Okay, so I need to power up this thing. Machine, just like Straw said. I remember this. The machine activates the parts of our brain where the marker codes are stored. How does that threaten the ah, Left-handed? You are left-handed. <clears throat> what, you're gonna Us. type with your right? Working together. Step four. Yes. You could uh, abbreviate too, you could do uh, text talk, kiss, text hurt. talk stuff. Yes. Step inside. Skip a bunch of letters. You want me to get in there? Crazy? Okay, right. let's get in there. Step one. <laughs> uh. That's funny. You gotta hold still, Isaac, Step so one. I can stick a needle in your eye. Step two. This group's so tight. All around. Cross my heart and come to the light. Alright, let's try the other eye, maybe. 
No, we can't. Okay. Hold the fuck still, fucker. There we go. Oh, it's nasty. I can see marker codes now or something. Maybe I can understand that writing on the walls. I don't know. Something like that. Follow the light, Isaac. I'll be waiting for you at the marker. Well, what do I do? <sighs> Chapter 14. What is going on? This isn't good. This is definitely not good at all. Okay. Damn it! This isn't good. Now I do not know. It's gone? Okay, maybe he went in here.
<laughs> Is that how, yeah? I need that guy's body, I guess. Damn it. Get over there. I miss that. Ah. Can't aim today. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay. If I load the game, is it going to get rid of those guys for me, maybe? That would be cool. Why Wong? If it ever will. <laughs> okay. Me, God fucking damn it. Are you fucking serious? <sighs> fucking hell. Get the fuck out of the way, you fucking box. You're kidding me. That didn't do it. Okay, it did. Get moving. Oh, this shit's stressful. Just gotta keep moving. Um, no fucking health left. That's not good. Oh, I don't have shit.
Open the fucking door! Ugh, fuck. <sighs> this part of the game is stressful. Bloody hell. Looks healthy. It's gotta be some health or some ammo or something somewhere. for it. Special leg, Johnny. So Johnny, I decided that Dino Crisis is next, and after that is Fallout 3. power nodes. That's cool. Now this might be the spot where I can get a million power nodes. Um, I would have to find a uh, save point I guess. That shit was pretty crazy. Bear back.
couple beers left over from yesterday. Sweet. We have to try that node thing, see if we can get some more nodes. Awesome. This is your last oh. Convergence is almost here. Meet me at the marker. I did not go to a rock and roll show last night. Why do you ask? This works, but it's not really necessary. I have most of my stuff upgraded already. Ah, ha, ha. Nice. Infinite power nodes. Here we go. Upgrade every fucking thing. Uh, there wasn't any really good ones going on. There was one that Jax wanted me to go to. But she didn't want to drive over here and pick me up. She's a bitch. And, uh, could have gone to the beach today. But I need to get this shit got done. I need to get this game done. I'm determined to finish it. Good day. Money too. We got ten of them now. Sorry, it's gonna be boring for a few minutes. I'm just gonna run back and forth and get a billion power nodes and then uh, upgrade like every fucking thing. basically the end of the game so at this point it's not really even cheating but it's gonna be cool having fully upgraded weapons that's gonna be nice <coughs> it's kinda retarded that the programmers would leave this shit like in the game not figure it out, not fix it, I don't know. I didn't use uh, a glitch in the first one. Oh, Star Wars Stasis. That's so cool. I don't really need air, but I'm going to do it anyway. Why not? Oops, okay. Maybe it is intentional lift, and I mean, especially since it's so late in the game. They're like, here, why don't you just upgrade all your stuff since you haven't been able to so far?
Lazarus. Um, you just... Well, maybe that's it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> You're not going to let me do any more? I quit, right? Did I not quit? Did I just save it and then... Did I, did I not quit this time? Did I just save it and then run back over there? You just open a node lock door and then you go save it and then you quit and reload and then you run back to that room and it's already open and it has two more nodes in there every time. Really? No way. That wouldn't make any sense. Alright, I'll try this one more time. Yeah, I think I just... I, I don't think I quit that time. I just saved it and ran back. <clears throat> Let's hope. And this is a node door in chapter 14, which is near the end of the game, so it's not that useful. Yep, it don't make no sense. But you can do it in other node rooms as well. Um, but this is the only one that has multiple nodes in the node room, so it's really the only place. There might be one other place, but this is one of maybe two places. Yep, see? I just didn't quit that time. And there's always this Ruby Semiconductor, so it's also unlimited money. You can do it in other node rooms, but they just have random stuff in it. Yeah, it don't make sense that they didn't take it out, but maybe they left it in because it's so late in the game. Yeah, I remember hearing something about that, but I never did it. I wasn't caring. Like, I know sometimes, like, you have to, like, leave an item in the room and not pick it up for it to keep spawning or something. But I didn't care enough about this glitch to, you know, to really try that. If it works, it works. And it does! Awesome. I got the semiconductor, I didn't see if it was in there, but probably. And now I have like five, five semiconductors. Okay. Probably just a couple more times, and then I'll go and kill some more shit. Yeah, the other node room that I did with this, this glitch with, um, it had random items, and there was no store nearby, so all I could do is fill up my inventory and then leave. I mean, there was no save point. That's what I meant. I've played Burnout 3 and Burnout Revenge, which are totally awesome. I haven't played Paradise. Monster Man has, I believe. But yeah, Burnout 3 is like the most fun racing game ever, I think. <clears throat> it's just so fucking fun. Even if somebody sucks at it and they play it, it's still fucking fun. Definitely. Well, I don't know if it's my very favorite um, racing game ever because Colin McRae Rally is just fucking sick. Like the earlier ones. I love the, uh, the difficulty, really, of Colin McRae. Like, you gotta be tight and you gotta focus. And you really gotta do shit right or you're just gonna fly all over the place. Like, Colin McRae 2005, I think, was one that I really liked. I 
I should just upgrade some shit to see if, like, I have too many already. <laughs> I'm just running back and forth for nothing. Revenge is definitely not as good as 3. Revenge had more stuff you could do, I guess, but um, the basic game, the driving and the crashing and stuff isn't as fun or as tight in, in part, as in part 3. The only thing I really didn't like about Burnout 3 Later on in the game, when you get like fucking indie cars and shit, like drag racers nearly or whatever, and you try to drive the fucking things, like they go so fast that you can't see ahead of you. I mean, it's basically, you know, humans don't have the reaction times to even be able to drive the fucking thing and actually do anything with it. Very, 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 very difficult and not in a fun way. I don't know if I've ever played a racing game that's free roam. Like you just uh, go to different areas to start the race or what? Is it like, you know, basically GTA where you just go and you go to a certain spot and pick up a mission and then you're in a race or they do it up some other way? So you don't actually, well, yeah, I know what you mean. <clears throat> you don't have to go get your mission from a character or anything like that. It's just kind of integrated into the world. You're not spoiling? Is that what you're saying? Getting ruby conductors? Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna stock the fuck up after this, let me tell ya. I only care about spoilers for certain games. If I'm gonna do like a total blind run like I did with Dark Souls, I don't want spoilers whatsoever. But this particular, this game, Dead Space 2, I don't give a fuck about the story. Don't care whatsoever. I'm here to kill shit and be stressed out. <laughs> I like that they have cool cutscenes and I got had, a, I had an eyeball and an ice pick. That was pretty fucking cool. But you know the story itself, like what's going on. I don't, I don't really know what the fuck's going on. I haven't listened to any of the. Uh, any of the uh, audio logs or read any text logs or anything like that. Yeah, I did a full blind run of Dark Souls 2 recently. Check that out on my YouTube if you want. I died like 500 times, I believe. <laughs> That's my guess anyway. I haven't counted them all yet, but based on the first half, it's... I died a billion fucking times. But I didn't get frustrated at all. It was like, that's just fucking Dark Souls. Die Dark Souls is death. 
Took me 13 tries to beat Dark Lurker, but I didn't care. It was fun. My favorite game ever in the history of the world, and I'm 36 years old and been gaming my whole fucking life. My favorite fucking game is Dark Souls 1. I really don't know how Dark Souls 2 compares to Dark Souls 1 because I did a blind run of Dark Souls 2 and with Dark Souls 1 I looked up a lot of stuff, you know. But yeah, if you, even if you don't want to watch a whole entire 70 hour playthrough of me dying so many times in Dark Souls 2, check out the uh, highlight videos of boss fights or whatever. I put up like all the individual boss fights and some cool highlights of PvP and uh, co-op stuff and whatever. Funny stuff. Oh, and I'm doing death compilations as well. <laughs> I have three death compilation videos up right now. Uh, 40 deaths per episode. It's pretty sad, actually. <laughs> I die numerous times on things I probably shouldn't die numerous times to, but that was just how that game went for me. It was like I would do well one day, I would reach a new area, and it would just kick my ass like a million fucking times, and then... Then I'd overcome it, and I'd get past it, and I'd move on, and then I'd find a new area, and it would kick my ass. <laughs> I'm not a shitty player, it's just, it's a lot different doing it completely blind. It's really, it's fucking, it's crazy. And you know, it's funny that I say that I don't care about the story of Dead Space because I actually read the comic books before I started playing the game, like on purpose, so I would know what was going on even more, you know? But then it was like, once I started playing, it was like, fucking story? I don't care about story. Kill shit. Shoot shit in the face. Before I played Dark Souls, my favorite games were Half-Life 1 and 2. Couldn't choose between those. I never thought anything would take over my favorite game series. I didn't think anything would, buy, would you know, I would like better than Half-Life. But, then I played Dark Souls. Dark Souls 1 feels simple now after I played Dark Souls 2. And a hell of a lot easier, in my opinion. I still haven't played Demon Souls. I actually have it, but I don't have a PS3. <laughs> I bought it because someday I will buy a PS3 and I will play it. And, you know, there's no way I'm not going to play the fucking game, so I might as well just get it. So I got it. Looking forward to it. I gotta get a capture card before I play it though, so I can stream it. Do a blind run of that bitch too. I never got into the Donkey Kong Country games. I played them a little bit, but not all that much. They're pretty much universally loved though. I didn't like them very much. But it's not like I played them a whole bunch. Not qualified to uh, to judge them. <laughs> Not a bit. Well, basically, I'm just not a platformer kind of guy. I don't want to have a jump button in the game. Like, this game does not have a jump button. And Dark Souls really doesn't have much of a fucking jump button either. You know, it's not a platformer. I don't... I like the 2D, like, Castlevania, Metroidvania. Those kind of 2D ones. But I don't like 3D platformers whatsoever. Yeah, I guess Donkey Kong Country is a 2D one, but... But yeah, it's kind of a weird 2D one. <sighs> Anybody can tell I'm from goddamn Texas. I sound like a fucking redneck. I didn't know how much of a fucking redneck I sounded like until I started streaming, and then it's like, god damn it, fucking rednecks.
All right, we'll do a little more upgrading uh, after we get these, and maybe we'll quit doing this. Everybody says Brave's awesome. I don't like puzzles. They frustrate me. <laughs> Even Shadow of the Colossus annoyed me. It's an amazing fucking game, but if you don't know what to do, oh, I'm just like... It's like I would go up to a boss in Shadow of the Colossus, and I would try, and I would die, or just not be able to figure any fucking thing out. And then... And then I would look it up, and then fucking do it. Fully upgraded plasma cutter. Oh, that's a bunch of them there. And a bunch of them there. What's the special? Add stasis effect to your alt fire. I can't remember what the alt fire does. <laughs> what does the alt fire of the contact beam do? I know that the main one is just a, a powerful shot. <laughs> you were six. <laughs> well, that makes you kind of old, actually, Lazarus. How old are you? You're not one of the 12 year olds that hangs out on Twitch. Alright, we got some powerful grenades now. That pulse rifle. Uh, I never rage in Souls games. I've been pissed several times at this fucking game, though. <clears throat> Definitely have. Right. Uh, I don't really need to upgrade the Force Gun. I only use it for little guys, really. Faster reload would be good, though. All right, just a couple more times. I'm sorry. Sell these things too. Eighteen. Okay. Well, you're still young. Half my age. <laughs> I guess I could just buy the fucking nodes since I have like fucking. <laughs> 14 ruby semiconductors for 140,000 bucks. It's crazy. I wonder if there's any other weapons I should buy now. Not really. We're at the end of the game. Who cares, right? Somebody look up what weapon's good for the last boss or something and so I can see maybe I can buy it and do that if y'all want to. Alright, a couple more times only, I promise. I have a 13 year old son actually. The javelin's good for it. Because of the alt fire, you like shoot it into them and then hit the alt fire and electrocute them or whatever. That does sound like it'd be really good for a boss or any big guy. Kind of sounds like it would be the best thing to use against any big guy, you know, like continuous damage. I do have a son, and he calls me a nerd. He loves video games too. He called me a nerd for my Fallout tattoo. Right. Yeah, I figured it had some kind of yellow area that I could fire something into. Makes sense. You know, like I said, I don't care about spoilers in this game. No big deal. 
This is a fun run, not a kill myself. <laughs> Try over and over and over run. Uh. Right. I do have the force gun. I guess I don't really need to upgrade it very much though, because it kills the kids with no no trouble. Doesn't need to be powerful to do that. Sometimes I'm good at some days I'm good at aiming, some days I'm terrible at aiming. Today is, is I haven't been very good at aiming today. <laughs> But you know, I don't really like to waste plasma ammo on little kids, so I just use a force gun. Which I do have. Well, I don't know, I used a bunch of them already. <clears throat> I guess I should just buy the rest of them. I don't really need to keep running back and forth. Crap load of money too. I have contact beam. So like the regular the regular uh, contact beam attack. Like the powerful one. I don't, I don't know what the fuck the alt contact beam. What does the alternate contact beam do? All I know is the main one does the, the heavy shot, basically. Alright. Yep. Go to work. See, I guess we'll upgrade the contact. Well, there's no contact beam damage, actually. Alright, so we're going to switch out. Actually, we're going to switch out contact beam for javelin, maybe? Well, yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, and we might have to, well, we're just going to buy the nodes. I guess maybe we're, maybe we're done wasting time. Perhaps. Not playing it. I'm playing it on regular, on normal. I know whenever I started playing Dead Space One, uh, my friend started the game up and was like, "Put it on e," and, and she like put it on easy, and I was like, "You know, okay, I guess." And then we we played it a little bit on easy, and then whenever I got home, I was like, "Fuck that!" I just started it over on normal. You know, <laughs> I like intense, but you know, for a uh, for uploading this and stuff, I don't want to die a million times. <laughs> I want to get through through this game and move on to the next one. nodes, okay. <laughs> oh, that might be enough. I need like everything on this basically. Explosive effect, uh, it's going to be cool. Alright, 
Well, I might have to run back and forth once or twice more. Okay, I'll go ahead and buy all my ammo and health that I need, and if I still, if I don't have enough money, I'll run back a couple more times. We'll sort out our ammo situation real quick. What's up, Nicholas? Speaking of my son, there he is, Frieza Dawn. We were talking about you. Okay, I don't need uh, contact stuff anymore. I could use some more the contact or the. Uh, Force energy, maybe. Five of those. Perhaps. Okay. Might run a couple more times. I'm gonna use my last one. I never like to use the last one. How much money do I have? Just enough for one more. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna suck if I want to buy something later, because there goes all my money. We're gonna finish this game today, Nicholas. I guess I need to buy javelins too, damn it. Alright. We gotta do a couple more runs to get a little bit more money to buy some javelin ammo. Since I don't believe I have any of it. Kinda would've sucked if I ran off without any ammo for it. So Nicholas, next games are going to be Dino Crisis and then Fallout 3. Still want to play Clock Tower, but I kind of want to play good games right now. <laughs> and that's not really a good game. <laughs> it's a terrible fucking game. It's gonna be kind of fun to play, kind of cool, I guess, but it's still gonna it's it's gonna suck. All right, one more time, then we're gonna see how much uh, money if we have enough money to buy a bunch of javelin ammo. I don't think there's anything else I'm going to need to upgrade in this game, so I'm not going to, I don't have to worry about getting further and not having nodes to upgrade. So I think this is probably all I need for this, for the rest of this game. And yeah, it would be a lot, it's a lot more than I would have normally without the glitch. A 
I think we're done cheating for today. As long as I can get me some good ammo here. Thirty of them. Forty. Probably way too much. <laughs> See how my inventory looks. Two open slots. That's alright. I guess we're gonna move on. Well, actually, we're gonna cut this video here and then move on. I'll see you on the next one.